Welcome back to part 4 of my Duke Robert the Fox of Apulia game. Currently King of Sicily and we're trying to hybridize our culture. Our daughter has become arbitrary or craven or lazy. I hate all of these. Um, she's currently third in line. If we make her arbitrary and ambitious, she may actually try to kill one of my sons or something like that. Um, Craven could as well, I guess. I don't, I don't want any of these. I guess I'm, no, I'm not arbitrary. I thought I was. Maybe that was my father. Yeah, he was arbitrary. Okay. I guess we just let her keep arbitrary. We, we're not really looking for a stress hit here. I, I didn't take one of the stress drop mechanics, so we don't really have an easy way of dealing with our stress right now. Our son gets bossy, which is fine. I like the stewardship, so we'll put him into that. And how are we doing here? 38% cultural acceptance with the Sicilians. 39, so we'll just keep an eye on that and then hybridize as soon as we can. We'll become culture head. Because right now the Normans sit on the throne. The King of England is Norman, I believe. Oh, he became English, actually. So this guy is the uh, culture head. The Duke of Normandy. So we're just waiting for this. Trying to raise the control up in my counties as well. Four years left still. And we got plus two more domain, so we can hold three more. So we're going to grab this one back. Uh, we're going to trade him for that. And then I might actually grab these two instead. Uh, so what's, what's the King of France doing? He's attacking the King of Aragon, because he has a claim on a county. 1140. I mean, he should be winning this easily without us, but we can just join the war. That's no problem. Whether or not I actually help is another story. I think we're just going to focus on our culture here. It should be any minute now. 40%. Come on. So we've done a good job swaying this guy. I think we'll give that up. Um, yeah, just keep working on our, our counselors. We want them to like us. What is this? County of Apulia, County of Messina. Well, Messina is going to be ours, so maybe we'll do it to that. Oh, we did get this event. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So there's an 80% chance that we're going down here. Um, our inheritance is fine. We, we could, like, kind of pause here and take advantage of this and disinherit our second son. But then, really, what are we doing? Do we care? Like, do we want to keep this extra county and duchy title? It, probably not, even, right? Like, I'm holding six right now, so I'm going to be holding five. Uh, he is a child. So he's not going to be able to hold that many. We're going into stewardship education, so eventually he will. But, like, having my brother be duke over there is probably the best bet. So I, I don't think I'm going to actually disinherit. Like, this this succession is fine. Uh, maybe we live here. But it's an 80% chance we die, so... Let's see what happens. Oh, man, this guy's only 36 and robust. There it is. Accidentally slain by Sirlo de Houtville's hand during a scuffle, a conniving man, he will be long remembered for his pettiness and spite. King Robert ascends to the throne. Just like that. So we lost these two. We are at war, uh, but we know about that. We're just supporting uh, the war of the King of France. Uh, absolutely massive man, but it didn't help him rule unfortunately. So we've had very, very short amount of time so far on our previous two rulers. Uh, hopefully King Robert, though, has a nice long reign. 
So let's have a look, see here who our regent is. Um, where are you? Asano, Palermo. Yeah, let's move you over here. Let's move you here and you here. That'll be better long term. So my regent is my mother. This is actually good. This is actually good. I, I'm pretty sure she won't try anything. She's temperate and calm and zealous. That's fine. We're holding five out of six, so it's pretty much perfect. Uh, we'll eventually be able to take this back and give him that county in return. He'll like us a little bit more after we do that. Is he going to be able to hold this? These guys might kind of revolt against him. Uh, the good news is that all these sisters of ours are in our court and are not married, so we'll, we'll be able to get some alliances with them. We don't actually have our alliance with the King of France anymore. I guess this is my uncle, right? Yeah, my aunt is Queen of France still, but uh, we're not going to be able to get this alliance back, I don't think. He's not, not our biggest fan. <laughs> I'm at war, minus 50. I'm in your war, buddy. I'm in your war. Uh, maybe if we go and help, we'll get like a positive uh, diplomacy modifier with them. Uh, I will negotiate an alliance with my brother, just for some stability. We don't have a wet nurse, why not? You're all bad at it. Okay, let's get a wet nurse. And we do have a physician and a uh, caravan master. So we'll just get these guys back on the council. Uh, I think we go like this and then like this. We want these dukes to like us because we are a kid and we're going to have to deal with some revolts potentially. Uh, the Duke of Flanders and the King of France both are maybe going to be our allies, but not just yet. Um, do we still do this? What's going on here? So it's still still 39. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, we'll get the good one, I think. And then we are going to have to like choose who is going to raise us. So she's interesting. No idea who she is. She's Polabian, uh, but she's quick. We could choose our mother. Maybe that, maybe that just makes the most sense from like a role play perspective, I guess. Uh, our archbishop is decent too. Our uncle. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what if we sort by all skills? You're the best. And yeah, let's just choose our mother here. What is her culture? French. Hmm. No, don't do that. Okay, so our mother is going to be raising us, and she is our regent. Uh, maybe we actually do this. Spend a little bit of money, and we either can get the scheme discovery chance, or the um, hostile, enemy hostile scheme success chance. Minus 15%. That's pretty nice. People might be more inclined to try to murder us, um, especially like our sisters our ambitious and arbitrary adult, soon-to-be adult sisters. I am worried about something like this. He's really upset at us, minus 100. If anyone else joins this, we might be in trouble. Uh, the reason they're not is because we got these two on the council. What about you? What are you doing? You're craven. So even though you're not on the council, you can't really do anything. You're craven and you're infirm. And you are our brother. So let's put you in diplomacy. And who are you being raised by? Your regent is the count here. Okay, that's interesting. Well, at least he's diligent. Okay, that's not too bad. So we just fabricated a claim here. He's going to be kind of pissy with us for doing that. Uh, we actually need crown authority. Maybe we'll get the event there's an event where your regent raises the crown authority for you, so maybe we'll wait until it, we, we can see if we get that. Uh, is this 40 yet? Can we do this as a, ch as a child? Okay, 41. Uh, we can, but it's just expensive. We don't have that. Okay. So what we are going to do, hopefully, is meet peers. So you guys are going to come in time, right? Yes. 
Sometimes you just take a monster stress hit. Uh, we want to make sure we do this on cooldown, right? Yeah. Sometimes you take a monster stress hit if no one shows up. So that was the guy who murdered my father. He died in prison. He has got a daughter. Uh, we don't really want to... 10% chance we get wounded. Whatever. Become friends with this evil kid. <laughs> Who is he? Oh, so it's just our mayor's son. Okay, whatever. He might become mayor after his father. Sometimes that happens. Uh, this is 75% chance for stewardship, so let's go with that. Nice. Try to host as many meat peers as you can when you're playing a kid ruler because um, you get lots of events to raise your trades up. I want to know the secret. So that's our Caravan Master and Knight's non-believer secret. We don't really care about that, so we'll just get him to like us a little bit more, I guess. Uh, are you going to win this war or what? The longer this goes... Oh, that's it. Oh, no, there's something else. Okay, there we go. Who are you? My courtier is a witch. Okay, let's forgive you. Uh, we could actually become a witch. We could have her tutor us, and she will pass on witch, and then we can make a witch coven. Uh, which is illegal, though, in our... In our um... Oh, wow, look at the papacy. That's huge. Uh, Tuscany joined. Oh, Spoleto now. Okay. Um, but if we're going to join the Byzantines or the HRE, then our... We might get arrested for being a witch is is the one like kind of downside to that. Uh, so they're actually allied with each other right now, the two the two different Roman empires. That is actually one of the biggest papacies I've ever seen. Usually that doesn't happen. So what happened here? She led a revolt? This is like a completely made up house. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Uh, I don't really... Well, yeah, I mean, that makes it even more difficult to try to get this county that he's got back from him. Uh, annoying. Looks like some Muslims want a holy war here. Uh, we can't actually declare a war for that. Uh, I think what I'm going to do when I expand over here eventually is fabricate a claim anyways. We don't want a holy war, because if we holy war, then like any of these other uh, Ashari factions down here could join in, potentially. Whereas if we're pressing a claim, uh, then only his alliance, which he actually does have some decent alliances, only his allies can join in. So she is of age now. Um, she's technically our second backup. But she's kind of scary. <laughs> Duke of Holland. How about that? That's fine. Let's just get you out of here. She'll become a duchess. That's more uh, renowned for us. Two dukes by marriage. One king. That's me. And then a king by marriage. So those are my sister and my two aunts and myself. What is this kind of garbage kingdom is that, dude? Okay, so that is done. Now, will you ally with us? My current amount of alliance is minus 30. Well, you wouldn't do that anyway. Because you're arrogant. He is actually kind of evil. Uh, whatever. We should be fine. We should be fine. Uh, these other sisters can get us alliances as well. Uh, is anyone actually raising you? Maybe we give our bishop. He'll like us more. There we go. And that kid. There we go. Okay, so how much do we need to hybridize? I think it was like 1700 or something? 1700. These meat peers, I believe, give some prestige. So we'll keep doing them on cooldown. Uh, a couple more years until we can do another... Prince Bertrand, our brother. Looks like it's kind of stable, actually. Oh, he did get that one away from one of them, which is interesting. 
Uh, and then this guy is his chancellor and his guardian and his, uh, what do you call it, regent. So we'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I mean, um, I don't think we're going to get any revolts, actually. I think that we kind of got away with it. This guy's still not happy. Oh, it was his father that passed away. Okay, now he's actually a really good steward, though. So who's the other guy? This guy's my steward currently. He can do both jobs. Yeah, we kind of want to keep you as our chancellor, though. Who would we rather have? 928. This guy's a little bit more powerful in terms of military strength, so I guess we'll keep him there. He's the worst steward by a little bit, but it's whatever. Invalidated. Uh, we also wouldn't mind getting our spy master to like us a little bit more. We can't sway anyone yet, but we could give gifts. What's going on here? Let's get these up a little bit, I guess. Um, let's grab a farms and fields here. We want to keep growing our gold. I don't want to be completely broke, but... I guess we can stop promoting cultural acceptance. We don't need any more. It's already 45. Uh, let's raise the development in our capital. That's a good long-term play here. Almost done raising the control here, and then we just have to do Malta, and then we're going to be in a much better position. Uh, we're already up to 5 out of 7. So we can start expanding. Uh, I'm probably going to wait to be, become an adult, actually, unless I can get this one. I can't revoke titles yet. I'm hoping that I get the event that raises the crown authority for us. Okay, here we go. Um, we can gain some prestige or potentially a diplomacy. My sister is trying to leave with the ball. Well, let's go for the diplomacy. Nice. That's it's great to just get like an extra diplomacy and extra stewardship from these little events. 50% for a stewardship, 50% for a marshal, or 50% for diplomacy. This one also comes with uh, some prestige, if we get it. Yeah, let's do that. Nice. So we got the prestige and the marshal. Not the most important stat, but better than nothing. I'm going to guaranteed intrigue this way. 28%. Aware of belongings for 20 years. What is that? Artifact decay reduction. No, let's do this. Let's do this. It's got another intrigue. I do enjoy these new uh, events from the Wards and Wardens DLC. It's kind of nice. Just makes playing a child really like this, which happens occasionally, a little bit more interesting. Uh, I guess we go with that didn't actually tell us what we got. I will join. 48% for diplomacy. No. Oh well. When the downside is like minus 20 with some random character, it doesn't really matter. Ah, so here is the first crusade. Our father was a participant of the first crusade. In, in real life, but uh, was dead too young for this one. So they are going for Jerusalem. I'm probably not going to participate in, unless the Pope kind of demands me to do so. Looks like the Byzantines have some type of revolt going on. Let's have a look at this Liberty War. He's allied with the Holy Roman Emperor, so he should be pretty strong, although this is a huge faction. Very interesting. Ooh. Okay. Free stewardship. Nice. Uh, let's try to at least get one trait here. We should get one by the time we're nine. Oh. Wow. 
Wow. My sister. So this is a new one, right? That's crazy. She got knocked. Wow. I don't like playing with either of these too much. Neither of them are horrible. <laughs> you rub dirt from the courtyard ground into her wound. Wow, that is horrible. I, I don't really want to play a sadistic. There's some validity to it. it. It's useful in some ways. I don't really want compassionate either. Do I just not get a trait? This is actually interesting. I've never taken one of these options before. This is like a new new thing. You usually get a choice between three. This one's just like you get a choice between two opposites. If we don't take one, let's see if we actually still get three traits. Uh, just a little test here. If we only get two by the time we're an adult, then I'll know not to take that option again. But at least we can test it out. Our other sister here could marry the king of Bohemia, but that's uh, they're still in house seniority. Our cousin, eh, king of Aragon, duke of Aquitaine. That's actually not bad. Let's go with that. He's pretty close by too. He's pretty powerful. There that is. So now we have a couple uh, decent dukes as allies, and then our brother. And I was hoping to get a trait, but I, I wasn't uh, super pleased with the event. So this is the new <laughs> Byzantine Emperor. He wants my sister and his brother it would give us an alliance. Um, do we even want to do that, though? In the event that I join the Byzantine Empire, I might not want an alliance with him if I want to, like, push a faction or something like that. I think I'm just going to decline that. It's very interesting. Okay, so he's kind of demanding that we join. Uh, we could either pay and not participate, or we could just join and kind of do nothing. Generally, these early um, crusades fail pretty quickly. Let's just join for the piety. That's fine. I'm sure we got plenty of cousins and whatever that we can just put in here. Um, so yeah, he's zealous. Just some random... How would Phil? Let's choose him. He can still get married and have a kid if we uh, if, if we get him any land, so that's fine. One thousand. So we're still waiting to hybridize our culture. Ah, perfect. Perfect, perfect. So we get a choice between diligent, uh, gregarious, and temperate. These are this is probably the best option that you can possibly get. Uh, they're all really strong traits. Um, diligent is the best trait in the game, in my opinion, just in terms of the raw stats. Uh, temperate is really, really great too, but I, I'm pretty much always taking diligent first if I get the choice. Uh, three months until the, the launch of the crusade here. So our stats are coming along really, really nicely. That's fantastic. We can already hold three more counties. So there is the crusade for the kingdom of Jerusalem. Uh, I think I'm going to stop it here, though. We'll see how that crusade plays out in the next part and finish up our childhood as well and then hopefully hybridize our culture and finally become a culture head. Uh, but thank you for watching this part. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in the next part.